Hello and welcome to Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is the Evelo Aurora Mid-Drive Limited Edition Electric Bike in for testing and review. So this is a limited edition. They're only making 120 of these in 2019. And this is also a feature uh, packed electric bike. A lot to cover here. First of all, you can see the nice uh, hydroform aluminum frame has a low step through area. Also has the battery built uh, into the down tube here. This is a high capacity 48 volt, 14 and a half amp hour lithium battery. Then there's the uh, 700 50 watt mid drive motor that uh, powers back with the Gates carbon drive belt, and then that goes back to the Enviolo continuous to the variable transmission back here that also features uh, automatic shifting. So, this is pretty cool. You can just basically set up the bike to uh, shift for you, and uh, yeah, we'll get into the details on that. But uh, also, uh, the integrated rear rack built into the frame there. And uh, nice uh, suspension fork here on the front. This is a Sun Tour suspension fork with uh, then three inch wide tires for a nice, uh, comfortable, and stable ride feel. And uh, front and rear lights, fenders, Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, so, a lot, to, a lot to cover here with the uh, Aurora Limited Edition Mid Drive here. So, the bike retails for $3,999. That includes free shipping, and there's a lot of other um, incentive options, warranty information that you can check out in the full review. And there's a link to the full review in the notes uh, for this video. So, this is just a video overview, and uh, I'll have a full review for you there at electricbikereport.com. So, with that, let's get into the details. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the hydroform aluminum frame. You can see here at the head tube where the down tube connects, there's a very large surface area connection there. Um, very smooth welds for just a clean look. And uh, speaking of that, there's internal cable routing to uh, you know keep the looks of the bike clean, but also provide some protection to those cables. And then just below here, there's the lock for the battery. And to remove the battery, just unlock it with one of the supplied keys. I'll show that in a little bit. The battery location is pretty ideal because it's uh, low and centered on the bike, which just helps with the overall balance and handling of the bike. And then uh, just below that, you can see there's a, there's a reinforcement gusset there near the mid-drive motor, and then the uh, platform for the battery, and then also another uh, reinforcement gusset for the step-through area. And uh, the step-through area is nice and low for you know easily getting on and off this bike, so that's a really, really nice feature. And then uh, taking a look back here, you can see how the seat stays kind of wrap back here to the rear wheel, adds a, a bit of style to the frame overall. And also the, um, the rear sliding dropouts here are uh, built to be able to tension the belt, uh, the Gates carbon belt. So it's a nice uh, design detail. And then taking a look at the rear rack here, um, the pretty interesting structure as it ties in just behind the seat tube area. And the rear rack uh, is built right into the frame. It's all aluminum construction, pretty large tubing. And Evelo sells uh, bags and baskets that uh, can be added to the rear rack um, in their accessory portion of their website. But overall, you know, a lot of uh, details built into this frame to uh, really blend in as many of the features as possible. So this is the Sun Tour XCM suspension fork. It provides four inches of travel to help smooth out the road. And uh, for the instance where you may not need as uh, the travel, you can lock out the fork for a more efficient ride on uh, smoother roads. So this dial here at the top just opens or locks out the fork. And then there's the uh, preload dial over here so you can adjust the spring rate of the fork to fit your uh, riding weight and style. And then uh, the fork also has the uh, through axle, which is compared to the quick release axle. The through axle just provides a little more uh, solid lateral stability, which helps when uh, cornering with the bike. So this is the 48 volt, 14 and a half amp hour lithium battery pack. It has uh, Panasonic cells, and uh, this is a pretty high capacity pack at nearly 700 watt hours. And you can see the uh, range test results of this bike in uh, the full review, and there's a link to that in the notes for this video. So here at the battery at the top, there's the uh, battery level indicator. There's also one uh, on the display on the handlebars. This is the lock here for the battery, and I'll show the removal of that here in a sec. Come down here, this is the um, charge port here. Just remove that rubber cover. And then there's a USB port for charging a smartphone or other USB device. So here's a look at the battery charger. It plugs into any normal wall outlet and uh, it plugs into the side of the battery pack right there. And it can be charged on the bike or when the battery has been removed from the bike. 
So here's just a demonstration of the removal of the battery pack. Unlock it with one of the supplied keys. Rotate the pack to the left side of the, the bike there. Here's a look at the locking mechanism and the frame has sort of a flat platform and the attachment point down here for the battery pack. And then uh, at the bottom of the battery pack, that's the attachment point. And then to reinstall, basically line it up here at the bottom and then rotate it in and click it into the top. Make sure it's uh, solidly connected there. Take the keys and you're good to go. So the drivetrain is a big highlight of this bike. Um, there's a lot of a lot of things going on here. Um, first of all, there's the Welgo platform pedals. These have an aluminum body and a rubber grippy surface with reflectors front and back. And then there's the 750 watt uh, mid drive here that uh, has peak power of 1,000 watts and 105 newton meters of torque. It's also a very quiet motor, and that blends in well with the quiet Gates carbon belt drive here. So, um, and this is a pretty interesting alternative to the chain because. Uh, um, it's quiet, uh, there's really no maintenance to be done, there's no lubrication like a traditional chain, and with that your the belt doesn't really get dirty like a typical chain. It also is supposed to last about two times as long as a traditional chain, so a lot of advantages there. Uh, it also looks pretty cool too. Then you've got the Enviolo continuously variable transmission with automatic shifting. So there's a lot going on here. And uh, the CVTs, this continuously variable transmission, is different than your traditional uh, cog set and derailleur system because there's really no specific gear ratios that you're selecting from and not like indexed like a typical uh, cog set. There's more of a spectrum from the low to the high end of the gear range. And, uh, you know, you can manually be shifting through that um, and you kind of think of it as like a volume dial. So you're really just dialing in what uh, gear ratio works best for your riding. But then there's also the automatic shifting. So you can set the cadence that you prefer to be pedaling in and the system will take care of shifting through the uh, gear range for you. And uh, that's pretty cool. So I'll show more details um, on the grip shifter, but uh, you can see here, this is the automatic shifting mechanism and uh, that's powered by the e-bike battery. So overall, with the automatic shifting system, the uh, clean and low maintenance and quiet uh, belt drive, and the powerful mid-drive motor here, uh, the overall drivetrain experience is very simple and easy to use, and uh, you really just kind of forget about shifting altogether. So it's a nice uh, system for just keeping it simple and uh, letting the technology take care of the, the shifting for you. Okay, so let's take a look at the handlebar. Uh, on the left side is this uh, ergonomic grip with uh, sort of a wing for wrist support. The Tektra Ariga hydraulic disc brake levers that have a, a set screw that you can adjust to fit the brake lever to your hand size. And then uh, each brake lever has a sensor so that when you engage either brake lever, the pedal assist will stop. And then there's the thumb throttle that can be used uh, on its own without pedaling if you want, or you can use it as a boost to say the pedal assist levels. And uh, then you've got the control pad here, which is the plus and minus for the pedal assist levels, the on off button for turning the bike on and off, as well as uh, turning the, the lights on and off. And then the set button, which uh, adjusts some of the settings in the display. Then you've got uh, this display here, nice color display, front and center in the handlebars. Um, information on current speed, your odometer, your battery level, trip distance, and then the pedal assist level. So there's five different pedal assist levels that you can cycle through with the uh, plus and minus button on the display. So you can go down to zero, which is no pedal assist, and then back up to five there. And then uh, when you turn the lights on, the display goes to sort of a black um, uh, background, so it's easier to see uh, at night. And you can see the headlight is on right there. And uh, yeah, so then you can just cycle it back to the uh, daylight display right there. Okay, so here's the Enviolo grip shifter, and uh, this is currently in the manual mode. So you can be uh, shifting through the continuously variable transmission uh, manually here. Uh, it's sort of like that volume dial. You just dial in exactly where you want to be, depending on you know if you're climbing a hill or going down the hill or riding on flat terrain. You can just uh, you know change that up. Then if you want to shift into the automatic shifting mode, you would 
what you're doing is you're basically just finding that uh, pedaling cadence that you prefer. It might take a little while to kind of figure that out, but once you get that dialed in, then you just let the bike handle the rest. So if you're going over those same hills uh, and flat terrain, the bike's just going to shift through and uh, take care of that for you while keeping you in that uh, pedaling cadence. So um, it's pretty cool. You know, you can decide if you want that automatic shifting system, or maybe you want to shift into the, the manual uh, system. You have that option as well by just pushing that silver button. So pretty, pretty simple system. And then this is the Tektro Aruga hydraulic disc brake lever for the rear brake. And then that uh, ergonomic grip here on the right side. So braking is handled by the Tektro Auriga hydraulic disc brakes, and uh, they have that classic, really solid engagement feel and uh, a lot of uh, braking power. On the front, they're using a 180 millimeter rotor, and then uh, on the back here, they're using a 160 millimeter rotor, and you can see the caliper attachment to the frame area there. The riding position overall is pretty upright and comfortable. You can see the stem here has a nice upright design to it with uh, swept back handlebars and uh, comfortable grips here. These have a little bit of a wing on the ends for giving a little extra wrist support. But overall it's just uh, very upright and it's very easy to see everything around you when you're riding. And uh, taking a look at the seat here, this is a uh, kind of a mid-width profile. Um, still pretty efficient for pedaling but has a comfortable feel. And uh, Evelo also offers their perfect seat guarantee. So if you're not happy with this one, they'll get you set up with one that uh, works for you. So another highlight are these really large uh, 26 inch by three inch wide tires. Um, and these really uh, you know, provide a nice stable and comfortable ride feel. Uh, the stability comes from just the large tread patch that contacts the ground. And the comfort comes from the high air volume. Um, and when you run these at the lower tire pressures, uh, you get a bit of uh, built-in suspension effect that really helps to absorb a lot of the bumps and cracks in the road. And Evelo has some recommendations on those tire pressures based on rider weight. But uh, overall, they're sort of a balloon style tire similar to what you would find on a beach cruiser bike and um, with that you get that uh, comfortable and stable ride feel. So here's a look at the stock accessories. There's the LED headlight that runs off of the e-bike battery and then you've got full coverage plastic fenders with uh, mud flaps on the front and on the back of the bike here. And then there's the tail light that also runs off of the e-bike battery and it also has a brake light feature so when you engage the brake lever it will light up similar to a car brake light. And then there's the kickstand that uh, has an adjustable height so you can uh, set the tilt of the bike when it's parked. All right, so that is the overview of the eVelo Aurora Limited Edition Mid-Drive. Make sure you check out the full review at electricbikereport.com, and that includes a bunch of detailed pictures, specifications, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and overall thoughts. And there's a link to that in the notes for this video.